Hey racers, John Racer 3 here today back for a special video of the 2020 series. Today we have a lot of super cool cars ready to take on our Daytona 500 special. As you can see we have the three lane starter down to the fat track and around. Now the way this tournament's going to work are they're going to be going six cars at a time bump drafting off one another and there will be three laps in every race and five for the final now you might be asking yourself john what do you mean three laps well the way it's going to work is the inside lane it's going to be lane one and then two and then three and the position four five and six will be behind them so the inside lane is i guess the fastest lane so the first place car will be in the fastest lane so the car that's farthest down the track now it means they can bounce backwards for example if we take two of the stock cars here and the 72 car lands here and then the blue car it reaches the tape but rolls back he will be in lane two and he'll be in lane one for the second lap after the third lap the person in front or the person who reaches the finish line first will be the victor and will move on to the finale which is five laps long now in honor of the daytona 500 we have a whole bunch of nascar stock cars plus some even more we got some indy cars we've got some robo race robo cars we have a formula e car maximum leeway we have a whole bunch of stuff about to take on the track so let's go ahead and get right into racing here we go with race number one in pole position we have the 22 car then we have the 72 we have a pink winning formula over there then we have a 6 the 68 and the 44 race number one three two one look at that and it's going to be winning formula taking first place after the first lap i also forgot to mention that rex are enabled so if the car lands on his hood or he's booted off the track he will not be able to finish the race that is unfortunate for the number six car here we go lap number two three two one look at that and winning formula is actually going to crash against the blue car but he's going to manage to stay a little bit ahead of the blue stock car so it looks like the positions haven't really changed going into the third lap now remember the third lap it's no longer the farthest car who can hit the tape first so, so if that was the fastest or that was the last lap the 22 would have won that is unfortunately not the case here we go lap three it all comes down to this three two one look at that it's gonna be close but it's gonna be the 44 car sneaking around the outside coming from the fourth starting position and taking lap three pushing himself to the final race here we go, let's start with race two. We've got three matchbox NASCARs, the 15, 35, and the 17, and then we have some Hot Wheels. We have three circle trackers and a circle trucker, I mean two circle trackers, with one number three and one number 75. Here we go, three, two, one. Look at that, and it's an awful wreck. It looks like the three is on the inside, so he's gonna manage to stay in the race right now. The 15 is in first, 75 in second, 35 in third, all the way back. Here we go, the 75 is moving up the pack, going into lap two. Three, two, one. Look at that, and the 75 and the three are gonna bump draft for first and second, going into lap three, 35 is in third, then the 15, circle trucker in the 20, and the 17 pulling in the rear. Here we go, the two circle trackers have moved up the field to first and second. Who will take lap three? Three, two, one. Look at that, it's going to be the number three circle tracker beating out the competition and moving on to the final race. Here we go, in our next race we have a Formula E car, a Formula One car. We have a maximum leeway number 45 over there and we have some robo race robo cars. Let's go ahead and get started. Three, two, one. Look at that, the Sergio Perez IndyCar looks like he's going to get knocked back, but he's still going to manage to stay in front of Robo Race, Robo Car in black. Then we have Red, Max Leeway, the Formula E, and then another Robo Race, Robo Car. Here we go, race number two. Three, two, one. Look at that, that 11 car is blazing fast. He's going to manage to hold on to his pole position going into the third lap with what looks like the Formula E car to get second, Robo Race, Robo car to get third, then we have some other Robo cars, and a Leeway. And it looks like Leeway is going to get fifth, 
Robo car is gonna get sixth. Here we go, who's gonna take it on the third lap? That 11 car is super fast. Who will it be? Three, two, one. Look at that, it's gonna be the Sergio Perez Indy car, the number 11, not even a competition, with the first place on all three laps, taking the win. Here we go, next time we have some F1 cars. We've got the number one, the number eight, the number nine, the number 33, and then two number fives, green and red. Lap number one, three, two, one. Look at that, and it's going to be, it doesn't matter, late, or car one taking first place on that lap, but the starting order is gonna be number five in red, then number eight, number five in green, one, nine, and then all the way back is the Golf 33. Here we go, lap number two, three, two, one. Look at that, and it's going to be not even close. We have two cars off the track and flip. The number one car is off of the course, and the number five has flipped. They are out of the race, and there's four cars going in to lap three. It's lap three, and it's anyone's game. Who's going to take it in three, two, one? Look at that, and it's going to be the number nine car coming back from, I believe, second place. Beating out the competition, and moving on to the final race. In our next matchup, we have some mock speeders, some 24 hours, and one Indy 500 oval. We got a whole bunch of different cars here. Who is gonna take it? Three, two, one. Look at that, and it's gonna be the Indy 500 oval taking first place as the pack wrecks behind him. Here we go as we enter lap two. Three, two, one. Look at that, and it's a couple of awful wrecks. We have a 24 hours taking first place on lap two. We have some cars that almost come off the track but manage to hang on going into lap three. Here we go, lap three. The winner of this will take it all. Three, two, one. Look at that, and it is going to be the Indy car barely sneaking it out. Moving on to the final race. And finally, we have three winning formulas versus three maximum leeways. Lap one commences in three, two, one. Look at that, and it's going to be a winning formula sneaking into first place with the 45 in second, the 99 in third, or 66, whatever you want to say, and then two more winning formulas. And then we have a maximum leeway on the apron down here, barely hanging on. Here we go as we enter lap two, three, two, one. Look at that, a huge boost from lane two allows the maximum leeway to bounce off, get a second place finish with winning formula in first, third, and fifth. Here we go. It's the battle. We got Max Mliway and winning formula. Who will take it on lap three? Three, two, one. Look at that, and there's a spin out on the front or back stretch. Two cars come off the track, which leaves the number 11 winning formula to be first place and take the win. That is a tough break for the 45. And here we go after all the carnage. Here are your six victors about to compete in a five lap race. We have the 44, the three, the 11, the nine, uh, the another 11, and then we have a winning formula with no number. It's gonna be the first car to cross the finish line on lap five will be your victor. Who will take the Daytona 500 today? I interrupt this program to let you guys know about my Twitter account. Now, Twitter isn't something that I really advertise on this channel because I'm a little more mature on here. But if you guys want to be notified for about everything that I'm doing with Forza and Hot Wheels and everything of the sort, you can go ahead, click the description, follow me on Twitter, and I'll be doing some exclusive stuff for you guys following me on Twitter here. So thank you guys. And uh, now back to your scheduled video. Here we go as they start with race one, three, two, one. Look at that, and that 11 car has so much speed, he's gonna be starting second, right behind the 11, and then the other formula, with the winning formula, the F1 car is gonna take third. These cars have four more laps, so they could easily crash and be out of it. Who's gonna take lap two? Three, two, one. 
Look at that, almost a wreck, but not quite. All cars managed to stay on the track. Move on to the next lap. Here we go into lap three. Three, two, one. Look at that, and it's some wrecks, and we have a car off the track. That is the 44 knocked off by the circle tracker. There are now five cars left racing. Lap four, two laps to go. Three, two, one. Look at that, and it's going to be a close one to the finish line, but we're going to have the 11 starting in first, winning formula in second, another winning formula in third, and then we have Circle Tracker in fourth with the Indy car in fifth. I mean, the Indy 500 oval. I'm sorry if I'm mixing up F1 and Indy. I apologize, but now the white flag is about to wave, and there's one lap remaining. Is the big one waiting to happen on the last lap? We are about to find out. White flag is waving in three. Two, one. Look at that, and it's an awful crash. We got Sogol Tracker and a winning formula crashed over there. We've got the number nine in third. The 11 has been blocked by winning form, or the Indy 500 oval in green, who is gonna be your Daytona 500 winner today. So there you guys have it. Thank you guys so much for watching the Daytona 500 video. If you don't know the Daytona 500, it's the inaugural race of the NASCAR series, which will be airing tomorrow if you are watching this on Saturday. So make sure to check it out, and I'll be watching with you guys. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next tournament. Take it easy. Peace.